We are so proud of the heritage of Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine, and we would love to have people here on campus. Unfortunately, that's not possible right now. And so we'd like to give you some information about the Department of Clinical Sciences and the Veterinary Health Center, our teaching hospital. I'm Dr. Beth Davis. I currently serve as the Department Head of Clinical Sciences and the Interim Director of the Veterinary Health Center. And what's really unique and I think very special about the program that we have is that we do have a teaching hospital. Our teaching hospital allows our veterinary students to see cases, to learn about cases, to interact with clinicians on a nearly daily basis throughout the course of their education. We have a department of roughly 60 faculty members who are in large part specialty clinicians who train veterinary students in the classroom as well as on clinical rotations. In our teaching hospital, we see about 20,000 cases annually. Of those, about 16,000 are small animal patients, and the rest are large animal equine and some exotic and zoological patients. And having these patients gives our students the opportunity to learn about all of the species and all of the, the differences that might occur in these different service areas. The curriculum includes the third year coursework, which includes the medicine and surgery courses, that help to prepare students for when they enter into senior year clinical rotations. In the senior year, there are 45 core credit hours that are required for all students. Among those, 36 of them are going to be core credits and 11 credits are going to be elective credits. On average, students will spend about five to six hours in external rotations or what are called externships and they'll have about five or six hours that are here in the teaching hospital that are elective credits. And so students can choose what areas they would like to work in. Some options include things like exotic and zoological medicine, cardiology, oncology, dermatology, and shelter medicine. Shelter medicine is one of our most popular elective rotations. On average, among our 120 or so students, We'll have about 90 students that complete the elective shelter medicine rotation. Students typically complete somewhere between 30 and 50 surgeries on the shelter medicine rotation, and they help to improve the adoptability of animals so that they can go out and find their forever home. It's one of our most popular areas and certainly our highest ranked clinical rotation. In the Department of Clinical Sciences, it's very important that we have the opportunity to train veterinary students to work with animals that are going to be very similar to the patients that they will ultimately work on. One way in which we achieve this goal is to maintain a herd of teaching horses. On average, we have about 15 teaching horses that are selected based on their temperament, their overall patients to be handled, and their health status. These horses are very important for teaching veterinary students. They're used in all four years of the curriculum. They're used for things like general physical examination, procedures, and maintenance of horses. The other thing is that through our equine field services unit, they maintain the health of those horses. So annual preventative care and dental procedures and monitoring of nutrition all very important aspects of equine health that help us to teach students how to be equine veterinarians. In addition to the equine teaching herd, we partner with the units across our campus. Our animal sciences uh, department is incredibly strong. And through that department, they have all sorts of units such as a dairy, a cow-calf unit, a purebred beef unit, as well as a small ruminant unit. And we partner with those areas, again, to identify teaching opportunities for our veterinary students. We maintain a group of cows so that we can use those cows for breeding purposes so that students can learn that process as part of the food animal certificate program. In addition, we maintain those cows until it is time for parturition and they are used in the junior surgery laboratory, which is a portion of the third year of the curriculum where students have the option of learning how to do a C-section on a late term pregnant cow. These are really important skills for our students to learn so that they can be successful veterinarians immediately after graduation.